I collect glass windows from the garbage to use for pallets. This is a very nice one. It's probably an eighth inch piece of glass that has a nice frame on it that this was a storm window. But what I use for my uh, grinding pigments is a thicker piece of glass. And I'm gonna show that to you right here. It's this one right here. And it is probably, this is one of the most expensive things that you can't uh, shortcut. This is, I got this from Graphic Chemical years ago. It's for grinding pigments for printmaking. It's called a muller. And, but for the actual glass to grind the pigments, I guess they charge a lot of money for that. But this is the one that I use. It's about, um, I don't know if that's a quarter inch, three-eighths of an inch thick piece of glass. And I used carborundum, 50 grit carborundum to grind it. And that's also a printmaking tool for, this is for um, grinding lithostone. And so what I, what I do is I have a, uh, a spray bottle in my studio with distilled water in it. I use it for a lot of things. And you just need to get some water in that. And then the, the muller has already a grit on it. And this is all you do. And you do it maybe for about 15 minutes. I have it kind of in the middle of the glass. I didn't do it edge to edge. probably have more on there because that's kind of thin so I could even put more the nice thing about this is that you can save it and put it right back in your bottle So that's it. That's all there is to grinding a glass to use for your um, palette to grind pigments. And you should probably do that for about 15 minutes. You'll be able to see the grit and feel the grit on the glass when you're done.